not doing the show. Exactly that. We're singing a duet, Troy. A duet means two people. Well, mostly me in this case, but whatever, a duet. Employee. Employees aren't allowed in the show. No, 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 no. You're an honorary member. Not anymore. I asked Fulton for my kitchen job back. What? Trope, I don't like the way you've been treating my friends. And I don't like the way I've been treating them either. So I'm doing something about it. An entire table of university boosters are coming to see you. Thanks to me. So I'll be their waiter. They'll be thrilled. Trey, Trey, this is going to change your life. I'm more interested about what my friends think of me than what I think of myself. Oh, we can all hold hands around the campfire some other time. Right now, we have a show to do. No. You've got a show to do. I got a kitchen to clean. Forget about the rest of us. How about the fact that your brother has worked extremely hard on the show? Oh, boo who? He'll be in the show. He'll do his celebrity impersonations. And don't lecture me about Ryan, given the way you've been interfering with Troy's future. You've got him written up by Fulton for sneaking on the golf course, swimming after hours. I had to step in just to save Troy's job. I'm not interested in what you think you're doing for Troy. That's between you and him. But you're messing with my friends my summer, and that's not okay with me. You don't like the fact that I won. What's the prize? Troy? The Star Dazzle Award? You have to go through all of this just to get either one? No thanks, Sharpay. You're very good at a game that I don't want to play. So, I'm done here. But you better step away from the mirror long enough to check the damage that will always be right behind well, you. Who are you and why are you insulting me? I'm London Sprain. <laughs> I'm the one who's been talking to you all day and I can't listen to your dribble for one more second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, what's this about? Look, the truth is, Maddie's been coaching me through this computer chocolate chip. Why would you need coaching? Wait a minute, did she just say computer chocolate chip? Enough said. Well, I'm not smart. I'm not a merit scholar. I'm not even sure what we've been talking about for the last two days. So, all the stuff you were saying about art and music and literature, those weren't your opinions? Nope. Except for what I said about the banana nut muffins. I really do like them. They're soft from the banana. They're crunchy from the nuts. <laughs> Didn't get any deeper than that. The good news is, Nut Girl will probably vote for you. Unlike me. Oh yeah? Well, I don't need the vote of some tree hugger. If you have it your way, there won't be any trees left to hug. Next you're gonna blame the oil companies for global warming. Yes, cause they're to blame. Oh, try me a river. If I did, you'd pollute it. You bleeding heart liver establishment puppet. Do you wanna kiss me as much as I wanna kiss you? I'm surprised someone as smart as you would have to ask. <laughs> wow, didn't see that coming. I hate you! I hate you more! <laughs> Boy, I wonder what they'd do if they liked each other. What are you doing here? The minute Justin tried to magically glue me to my chair, I knew something was up. You will just not stop, will you? Well, what am I supposed to do? Since you decide you want to control every second of my life? Please, do you think I'm doing this for me? Like you're actually pleasant to be with? I'm 16. You can't keep telling me what to do. Watch me. For the rest of this trip, you are going to be pleasant and present. You can't make me. When we get home, you are grounded for two months. That's right. No dating, no parties, no ma- Mom! The word. I've had it. Now put that stuff away. Urgh, I hate you! I wish you and Dad never even met! What is it, Michaela? Hannah, I heard you pulled out of the concert. What happened? Did the big pop star get scared? Listen, Macacro. <laughs> One of my family members has a serious medical condition, okay? Yeah, it's you, and it's called wimpotitis. That means you're a wimp. I know what it means. I can see the headlines now. Michaela rocks while heartless Hannah hides from the home. The concert's for hunger relief. Like, I care. Either way, I'm going to steal all your fans and nothing you can do about it. Oh, yeah, there is. I'm going to be there. You are? Justin, help me. What spell do I use? Why would I help you? You're my brother. Look, I'm sorry you didn't... I'm your brother? No, 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 Justin.
please, please, you can't leave me. Please remember, I'm Alex. I'm your little sister. I taunt you and I tease you and I make your life miserable, but you love me anyway. You're everything that I ever wanted to be. I'm jealous of how, how smart you are and how kind and how nice. Please don't leave me. Well, I would rather drink my milkshake than wear it, but I'm fine. I'm sorry. You look it. Forget it. Hey, look. I really am sorry. Didn't we just do this? I'm well, by the way. Well, let me buy you another shirt. No, thanks. I'm good. Come on, I'm just practicing Southern hospitality. Oh, really? Is that what they call hanging on strangers you know now? I have no interest in buying you a shirt. Is that so? I'm just over here so the other team can catch a breath. Wow. Pushy and conceited. Why don't you come watch? I'll pass. Thank you. Turned our back for a minute, just for one minute. Oh my god. Haley? I'll do it. I swear to god, I'll do it. You don't believe me. Nobody does. So I swear to God, I'll stab myself. Dr. Karev, Alex, I need you to put that down. It'll kill me, right? If I stuck this in my heart, it'll kill me, right? Do that, Haley. If I stuck this here, I would die, right? Trust me. I can help you. I'm not crazy. I know. I, I believe you. Everyone outside thinks you're crazy, but something's going on inside, and none of us understand. So we need to figure out what that is, and the only way we can do that is if you put that down and let me run some tests. Okay? You promise? Yes. Just put it down. It's gonna be okay. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Look at what Chelsea and Brooke did. What's wrong? I, I have to leave, Carter. Leave, leave where? Back to my country. General Kane is forcing my mother into marriage. Your father's never gonna let you go back. He'll never know. Yeah, but I know, and I'm not going to let you go back either. Carter, you have to stay out of this. I have a duty to my people. This is something you'll never understand. I've loved living here in Louisiana. And I wish my life could be like this every day. But this is not reality. Do you think my life as a princess is some kind of fairy tale? This here is a fairy tale. And I could not hide here anymore. Soon I will be queen of Ca Castellina. My country needs me. You're right. They do need you. They need you to lead them and to protect them. And that's something you can't do from jail, which is exactly where you'll end up if you go back to Castellina. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Roxy! Face it, Dad, it's all falling into place. Not for me, it isn't. <laughs> Why not? You know I can do this. You can trust me. That's not the point. Then what is the point? The point is you're not ready to do this on your own. Yes, I am, Daddy, and you know it. Come on, Dad, let me go, please. That's it, Mal. I don't want to talk about this anymore. That's not fair! I don't have to be fair. I'm the dad, and I'm not letting you go. Why are you treating me like such a baby? Because you're acting like one. But Dad! Molly, not another word. Fine. How about three? I hate you! 